the Friday. Happy Friday. I'm going to turn that heat off. Hmm. I took my medicine this morning. I feel a little sick. I took it on the empty stomach, so I'm uh, getting ready to fix me some breakfast. yesterday with uh, turkey sausage and peppers and onions in it so it was two eggs and I knew I couldn't eat it all yesterday so I bought it for breakfast today and I'm gonna make me a, a little burrito so how y'all doing how the week been going for you it's been going on it's just a little sauce and guacamole really Yesterday was kind of rough for me. I was in a lot of pain yesterday. I, um, had to take me some pain meds. But I feel a whole lot better today, praise God. Let me say my God help. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. For the nourishment of my body in Christ's name, amen. So how you week been? I ain't seen you all this week. <clears throat> I could have rolled it up like a burrito, but it's one of them little small wraps. And I had more eggs than I thought I had left. Like if you make this, it's real easy to, and simple too. warm up. Hold on one minute, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I got a call. Anyway, this is our latest. We having issues. In fact, I got two issues going on in my house right now. Um, It's me, the lady across the street, and the lady next door, I know for sure. Internet just not acting right. I don't know what they did. But, so we called, extended all of us. They got to come in and do some underground work, basically. So they sent the technicians back out. They couldn't hook up my security in the first place, so I had to go with 82. They sent a the technician out. We thinking that, I'm thinking the man here to do the underground work. Connor came on to work. My daughter's still there, but she got to go in to her job. And um, he out there trying to hook it up from the houses across the street behind me. to trying to fix it for a temporary fix. Well, sir, it's really not necessary for you to do all that. Is what I told him. But like I told her, I'm not leaving until... I know for sure she getting ready to leave for work. It's 8.45. And if he think he can get that in, I'll go ahead and, and go. But it don't take me 30 minutes to get home. A little less than 30. It depends on traffic. So, I don't know. But anyway, so he's trying to do a temporary. In the meantime, the workers was over there laying brick. Was it Wenska laying bricks at the house on the side of me? They laying the bricks. Well, all of a sudden my power goes out at about four o'clock in the house. Then it comes back on. If it comes back on, well, first I call the power company. And asked them, you know, was it a power outage in the area? They said no. Well, I didn't think to ask them anything else. So I'm like, okay. 
So when the power came back on, I'm like, well, okay, the power came back on. But that's not the story. So at any rate, I, um, so then I called the emergency line. No one answered the phone, but I left a message. No one called me back. So part of it, this is the extended person calling me back. Let me take this call. Y'all yeah, ain't gonna even get started with what this man just said. So I'm not gonna get started on this crooked mess. <laughs> you know, that he trying to scam a scam on. Uh, don't even get me started, okay? What, 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 what was I even at? Anyway, so the power went out, right? And I called, like I said, the power company, the electric company. Then they said there was no power outage. Then I called the emergency hotline. But the, but the power then came on, back on in part of the house. Well, before I did that, I went outside and was talking to the workers who presumably couldn't understand what I was saying. The one I, he just kept waving at me. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So by the time I go back in the house, the power is back on in part of the house, which is the middle of the house, which is the living room, the hallway bath. You know, my daughter's room was good. But well, I'll just tell you the areas it was out. It was still out in the garage, the laundry room, the dining room, the kitchen. And it was out in all the master bedroom suites. So, I proceeded to go outside and try to talk to the, one of the workers and ask him if they do anything to the power. Well, he's looking at me confused. <laughs> like he don't understand English. So, I'm like, okay, fine. So, I said, well, this is a waste. I can't talk to him. So, I go back in the house. Now, I'm over the house, like, over there on my cane with a flashlight, like I know something, <laughs> going around the house. And, you know, trying to look at the box, trying to see what's going on out there. So by this time, a little short one that was over there working, it was about six of them over there laying bricks. He over there peeking at me, looking. <laughs> like, what's she doing? And so I go back in the house, like I say, so the power came back on after I talked to him. So I'm like, I wonder if they over there doing something. <laughs> so by the time they finished working, which really made me think it was them, by the time they finished working that day, and they turned off all their equipment and whatever they was doing over there. The power was restored in all the house. But then every 15 minutes, the power, the lights in all the areas that I was telling you that it was out, start flashing every 15 minutes. And it would go out for a little while and it would come back on. And so I slept with my lamp on at night and I left the bath, the light on in the, um, where the um, toilet is in my master suite. I could see it from my bed, of course. And so it all night long, intermittently, on and on, on and on. And so I put in a ticket about six o'clock that morning, a warranty ticket, explaining about what had happened, what had went on with the workers and stuff. And I believe it was something they did. So the lady listened to my whole story and I sent an email, I put in the warranty ticket. They said I had to contact the builder. Well, finally they called me back and told me that I would have to call back the power company because they could come out and see what was going on. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden one of the legs is bad. One of the legs bad now. That controls that part of the house because they said they would send somebody out to check the voltage. Well, one of the legs is bad. So they sent somebody out, and that's one thing. I got to give them credit where credit is due. I don't know if that's olive branch. I'm not used to Memphis like gas and water moving that fast. I don't know if this olive branch is small or what. But they sent somebody out. They were there within 30 minutes. He knocked on the door, and then he knocked back and told me, look, ma'am, uh, I done checked the voltage. I done checked something. The leg is bad, and I'm going to have to run a temporary. So it's something across my driveway now, which is a temporary line. But he said the city is going to have to come out here and mark something before we can dig. And so he said, and once we do, he said, it'll be about 48 hours. Well, the city of Olive Branch was out there yesterday doing whatever they had to do, you know, for that. So, I don't know when that's going to be fixed. But, but now I got power because I was worried because my deep freezer is in the garage. And, of course, it controlled my refrigerator. My stove wasn't working, none of that. And, of course, 
the water couldn't get hot because the darn thing wasn't staying on long enough for the hot the, the water to heat up. So, anyway, that's enough of that. I just shall say, I ain't want to hear all your issues, Miss Don't. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna get to work. I done had enough dramatics going on this morning. I want you to know your love. I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember, always be kind to of yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And have a good Friday. Love you. I might see y'all later on in the day, either for lunch or for dinner. Bye.